Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss two things. First one, answers to the questions mentioned in the previous video. I will add previous video link in the description and I will keep the previous video in the end card. Please watch my video if you didn't watch it. It will give a basic idea about lambda functions and the questions that you can expect from the lambda functions. And in the second one, I am going to resolve one coding challenge for you. Before we start, please subscribe and support my channel. Press bell icon to get the latest notifications. Let's start the video. Let's start with the previous video questions. What is a global variable in Python? So in Python, if a variable is defined outside the function, by default, it becomes a global variable. Global keyword is available in Python. If you want to define a global variable inside a function, we need to use global keyword. If you want to modify a value of a global variable inside a function, we need to use global keyword. And it is not possible to just declaring a global variable. You should provide some value at the time of the declaration. Let's see a few examples of global variables. So I'm going to create a Python file. Now I'm going to create a variable. X by default becomes a global variable. You no need to use any global keyword. Let me run this program. Here we are getting error because we didn't initialize the global variable. So it is not possible to declare a global variable without initializing it. So I'm going to provide some value. Now, let me run this program. So, this ran successfully. Now, how to create a global variable inside a function? Now, I have created a variable inside a function and I'm trying to access the variable after the function call. Let me run this program. See, I'm getting error because when I declare a variable inside a function, this becomes a local to that function. We cannot access that variable outside the function. So how to make this variable as global? By using global keyword. So now let me run this program. See, now, this time successfully, I'm getting the value of the X after the function call. So now this X variable becomes a global variable. So we need to use global keyword to define a global variable inside a function. Now, how to modify a global variable inside a function? Suppose I have a global variable here and I want to update the value of the global variable inside the function. So first, let me run this program without global keyword. See, the value is not updated because this is a global variable and this is a local variable of this function and the scope of this variable is available only inside this function. Whatever the value assigned to this variable is not available outside this function. That is why the value is not updated. So how can you make this as a global variable? So by using a global keyword. So now let me run this program. See so now the value of the variable is updated. So you need to use a global keyword if you want to update the value of a global variable inside a function. Suppose we have a scenario where we have two variables, global and local variable with the same name and we want to access both the variables in the same function. How can we achieve this? We can achieve it by using global's function call. Global's is a built-in function in Python which returns a dictionary object of all global variables. So, so 
here i have two print statement one printing the local x variable and the second one printing the global variable so let me run this function I'm getting local variable value and global variable value. This is how you can access global and local variables in the same function if you have a, if those have the same name. So these are the few examples of global variables, how to like how to create a global variables, modify a var value of a global variable and access global variables. So now we'll see constant variables. First of all, what is a constant variable? A data item whose value cannot change during program execution is called constant variable. In other languages like C, C++ and Java, we have const keyboard, but in Python, we don't have const keyboard. That's why we cannot declare constant, constant variables directly, but we can make a variable as constant variable. There are ways to make a normal variable as constant variable. First one using p const package and the second one by adding required constant variables in a separate file. Let's see how we can create a constant variables using p const package. By default, p const package is not available, so you have to install it. Like how we will, I'll show you how we add p const package in PyCharm. First, go to settings, projects and scripts. Here, select Python interpreter. And then here, I have already added that uh, pconst package. That's why it is visible here. But if you are doing first time, it will not visible for you. So click this plus symbol and type for pconst. So it is available here. So you just select it here and click this install package. So once it is installed, you get message saying the package is installed successfully. So after that, it will be added in this list. So close this. So I've already installed it. So we can directly use it now. First, we need to import const module from the const package. Now I'm going to create constant variable. Name is a constant variable having a value Python. Now I'm going to change the value of the name. Let me run this program. See, we are getting error because we cannot change the value of a constant variable during program's execution. Now I'm going to delete my constant variable. Again, I got error because deletion of the constant variable also not allowed when we are creating, when we create a constant variable using pconst package. Now I'm going to create a constant variable using second method. For that, I'm going to create a separate file and uh, add all the constant variables into that file. Let me create a separate file, separate Python, Python file. Here, I'm going to add a few variables.
Now I need to import that constant dot py. Now I will directly print the value of the constant variable. Let me run this program. So the value of the constant variable is displayed here. So this is how we can use, we can create and use constant variables in Python. Now we'll see the coding challenge. So coding challenge is find out the sum of the squares of first n natural numbers. Suppose if the input is five, then you need to find out the sum of squares of first five natural numbers. I have used list comprehensions, lambda functions, map and reduce to implement this logic. And the algorithm is first I will create a list of n natural numbers. Then I will apply square function to each and every element present in the list using map function. Then I will find the sum of all squares using the reduce function. Now let's see the implementation. I have created a Python file and the reduce function is available in func tools. So I have imported a reduce function from func tools and I'm reading the n as an input. Now I'm going to create a list of n natural, n natural numbers using list comprehension. L1 equal to range of one comma end of n plus one. Now I'm going to print this L1. Let me run this program. Sorry, one is missed here. So in that number. I'm giving five. Now I got the list of first n natural numbers. I'm going to apply square function to each and every element present in the list using map function. So this will return squares of all the elements present in the list. Now I'm going to apply some function using reduce. Let me print the value of sum. Let me run this program. So comma is messed here. So this number is 55. So we can skip this step here and we can achieve the squares of each elements present in the list here itself by just adding a star x here itself. 
So now if I run this program, we'll get so here itself we are getting squares of the elements. This one we can skip and directly we can use L1 here. Now also we'll get the same result. Suppose if I run this program. And getting the same result. So this is one of the ways to resolve this coding challenge. Hope this is helpful for you. And the next is question for you. Do we have switch statement in Python? Please share your answer in comment section. We'll discuss answers answer to this question in the next video. Thank you.